Hey guys, this is Donna Bells, and welcome back to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Alright, so we are in Bubble Blast Off level of Deep Dark Galaxy, and I promised you I'd meet you on this planet. That whole thing made me just a little bit dizzy there. Alright, so, getting the Fire Flower, because we have two more pots to light down on the beach. And last time I think I, like, burnt my ass on one of them, so I didn't get to light the other two. <laughs> Whoopsie! Yeah, see, I have the that one left one lit up. So, there we go one. Don't burn yourself again, Mario. Jeez. And lighting all three of them gives you the ice flower. Right, too bad you can't skate on sand. I don't think you can even break this rock. Or would that be a stalagmite? <laughs> right, and just avoid the magic koopas. When you're going over this fountain here, you just like hit them with the star bit. And grab on the pole, and that's all you need to do. It's usually pretty easy. I've never really had trouble getting over there in time. You will die. Alright. I almost fell. I was on the fence. Okay, so there is a, a pole and some pegs here, just in case you fall off of these platforms here. But it's, nah, it's pretty simple to get over there without falling. Okay, and then over here. The coin turns all of the, that platform into a bunch of sling stars. Before I head in that bubble launcher right there, I'm going to go to a secret pipe area. And there's some magic... Oh! You bitch! Okay, there's some... Uh, there's a coin in here with the, the music notes. And this is my favorite music note coin in the whole game. This song. What is this from? Like Super Mario World? I'm sure that it's in other games, but that's the first time I heard it. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Ding. Yeah, and it gives you a one up there. Don't break too many of these blocks because this coin up here gives you star bits. See? Now that tune, um, that we just heard, I would have sang the song that my boyfriend and I made up for our cat Yoshi. Yeah, we sing to our animals. And, well, we don't have Yoshi anymore, but when we did, we made up a song to that tune. Just for him, and he loved it. <laughs> yeah, I would sing it, but I'm kind of embarrassed. <laughs> I think we made up a song for Petrie, too. It's the same tune. <laughs> Cause we got Petrie after we had Yoshi, and we're like, when we didn't have a cat anymore, we're like, what could we get now? Since you know, what could we have that we couldn't have when we had a cat? So we got a bird, obviously. <laughs> All right, so just head up these poles and jump in the bubble launcher. Bubble blast off! Okay, so this planet has a bunch of bouncy cheap cheeps on it, and yep. They'll get ya. But they're in those bushes. I think there's some star bits and some coins, so. I think you can just uh, kill them by, like, spinning into them, so. That works, too. I'd rather just avoid them as best as I can. Just get in the bubble launcher real quick. There we go. Now this planet. Someone seriously had to be on some drugs to think of this thing. It, okay, it's a big water ball with electric ripples on it, tennis balls floating on the inside, you smash the tennis balls, and they bounce into this watermelon, and see, when you hit the tennis balls, the watermelon grows, and when it gets big enough, it, um, explodes the water planet, like that, and it excretes a star. Seriously, someone, someone had to be on some drugs to think of that. What the hell? <laughs> star and you can talk to that toad while you're on that planet if, you know he just explains the whole watermelon tennis ball thing seriously I don't know I don't know how they think of that stuff sometimes all right let's just go right back into bubble blast off or not bubble blast off deep dark galaxy and I don't, the next level kind of 
is short and yeah, Guppy in the Underground Lake. I don't know. I... Let's go here. Let's go back to the Underground Ghost Ship. But Donna, we already got that star. Yeah, I know. Um, there's a secret star in here. Uh, I know that. I know that there wasn't like a question mark coming out of the star, but that only shows up when you get all of the stars in the level. Um or in all the levels, except for like the comet. And then the question mark will show up and be like, oh, you forgot the secret star. Or the hidden star, whatever you wanna call it. Okay, so we just head back over to the, um, the underground cave, just like we did before. And we had to light both of these torches so this gate will open. <laughs> yeah. How there's wind coming out of that wall because it looks like the wind comes directly out of that wall I don't really know how that works but okay let's dive down here and um, instead of following the arrow you see the star rock down there I think that's kind of like a hint there's a couple down here like oh there's a secret star down here see we added rocks that look like stars we come over here and we hit these bombs and destroy the ship with the shell. There we go. Yeah, you gotta get out there quick or those bombs will like explode again. And we're in a giant box. Okay, this is really annoying. Um, both of these enemies follow you. <laughs> so it's best to like get on the exact other side and let them follow you for a little while. Dang it, I broke my mic. Okay. And you spin into the arrow and it'll change the gravity. You just do this as fast as you can so you don't let the the boo and the, the spiky thingy <laughs> catch up to you. But you just like hop in the bubble there. And there's our beacon of light. Um, if you can guide the boo right over that, um, that porthole right there, then he'll disappear and make it a lot easier because then only one enemy will be uh, following you. Right. I like this music though. Okay, there we go, I did it! Usually, um, you know, if they don't, if you don't get the boo right over that porthole, then you can always uh, change the gravity back because you have to anyway and um, lead him down into the... Wow, I can't get over here! Lead him down into the other wall where the light's shining. Second challenge, getting over to the star. Come on, Mario. Dang, it's all about you little bitch. This is all about timing, so I'm really not good at timing. Did y'all hear my voice break? Jeez, how embarrassing. Yeah, girls' voices break too. Ta-da! All right, so. I don't really know what else I'm gonna do because I don't know I still have a lot of time but the other levels like they're a little bit longer but you know what I'll figure out something for us to do <laughs> you'll like this see you in a minute okay here we are again we're going right back to this uh, the hidden star but Donna, we were just here. Yeah, well, I'm showing you a better way to get the star. Faster, anyway. Ta-da! There you go! And that defeats the whole purpose of this room. <laughs> you know, just in case the boo was being a bitch and, you know, you kept dying or something. Not that I recommend cheating. But, you know, just in case. <laughs> Alright. And I might have a little something extra for you, so stick around. Alrighty, so I know it's been a while since we've done Bubble Breeze, but eh, since I was on the subject of shortcuts and stuff, here's another good one. This one's kind of stupid. Alright, backflip. Long jump. Ta-da! And you skip half of the level. Alright guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see y'all next time.